The only coward here is you, sir. Man. They don't want to talk to you. Man, your child is supposed to be loved to for and cared for. They don't want to talk to you. I already Man, helped please them, don't dude. go in there. Mama. Bro, leave them alone. You're a mother alone, today and tomorrow. Dude, leave them alone. Whether you feel like you're going to be you. loved for or cared they for. They don't want to talk to you. Your child is loved and cared for. They don't want to talk to you, dude. Your child is providing for you to be Give it up, dude. Come on. For. Come on, dude. You're being Please creepy. don't go in there and kill your child. Dude, come on now. What, what does God what think of that? What is wrong with you, dude? Come on. Would Cut you consider out. yourself Christian? Cut it out. Cut it out. Ma'am? Cut it out. Cut it out. Get out of here. So I think one of the interesting things about people who show up and heckle in the name of Jesus or whatever, um, you know, oftentimes when you just when they say, are you a Christian? And you just tell them, no, they don't really know what to do because their whole argument is supposed to be that this is the way and this is the truth. But if you just flat out treat it like it's like, a nah, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, first and foremost, they're not there for you. You don't know why she's there. You don't know what happened to her. So that's first and foremost. But secondly, it's like, what type of an impact do you really think you're going to have just randomly showing up to abortion clinics to harass people? Do you think, you know, maybe maybe a woman went there because, you know, ah, she's seven weeks pregnant, you know, something slipped up and it's like, I, I just can't do this right now. Maybe she got raped because, you know, we all know that happens. It could be it could be a number of things. Who knows? It could be health reasons, whatever. And you just, you know, you think what you saying this, that X, Y, Z about Jesus and you'll be like, you know what? I, I, I thought about this for, you know, days. I thought about this for weeks and I arrived at a conclusive decision. But this random guy, you know, because of you, I'm going to keep the baby. Like, come on, bro. Come on, father. No, you can't just sit in the back seat he just relaxing while your child is going in there uh, uh, and getting killed. Uh, 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 we ain't gonna have that today. You can't. Why do you think you're just more of a coward right just sitting in there Did you just and just forgetting it? Who the f do you think you are calling people names? You can't. And again, how many times has it come out that you know far right wingers in this country, whether they be anti gay, whether they be anti trans, anti whatever, you know, and then it comes out that they're like steeped in the community in some type of a way. You know, like they're anti-gay and lo and behold, they get caught for, you know, being a part of 50 man, you know, same sex orgies every week on the South Side or whatever it is. And it's like, oh, this guy gets down. He's anti-gay, but he gets down. This man's free. You know, you find out things like that all the time. And then lo and behold, you find out people who are like show up at these clinics. It's like, oh, oh. You know, they got like, you know, 40 abortions or something like that. So now they they're trying to show women the right way, you know, because maybe they were the ones who just used it as birth control. So that means everyone else is right Nah, man. These people are just they have a one track mind tunnel vision, but it's on the wrong thing. And as I've pointed out before, as George Carlin once said, never underestimate the power of stupid people in large groups. You can't just sit in you there. You calling people names? Why are you calling people names? Forget all these issues. Why are you calling people names, dude? You think God would like that? Shut that up. Coward. The only coward here is you. The only coward here is you, sir. You feel like... And then he asked, what would God think about this? What what would God say? Like, okay, so um, according to, you know, the Bible, which I'm sure you really don't read... You know, if you want to be like perfectly pleasant to God, I guess you could be, you know, in a house knitting, you know, blankets all day and baking apple pies and never going outside and never doing anything. But then again, Jesus, you know, loved prostitutes. He walked with thieves. He brought people into his inner circle who society would consider to be low down and no good, which, of course, is the whole thing about Christianity, that these people somehow always forget, you know, the whole thing about Jesus being with the beggars and being with the people. Again, the society casts aside and the society really doesn't look at strongly or with any type of favor, you know, but no, 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 no. Them, it's all about judgment. It's all about really just these inner battles that they face themselves. But again, as I pointed out before, you know, I don't know. There's no real impact that these people are having. They're really just there to harass. That's really all they're doing and they know it. So, it's, you know, unfortunately, we're going to see more and more and more of this, but now it's turned into actual policy.